Sperm are produced in the seminiferous tubules of the testes and mature in the epididymis. During ejaculation, they travel through the vas deferens, mix with seminal fluid from accessory glands, and exit the body via the urethra. The vas deferens is a muscular conduit approximately 30-45 cm long. Vasectomy involves isolating and dividing a small segment of the vas deferens. The two ends are either tied off, cauterized, or sealed using fascial interposition to minimize recanalization. The procedure is typically done under local anesthesia and takes about 15-30 minutes. Following vasectomy, sperm continue to be produced but cannot travel beyond the epididymis. They are broken down by immune cells and reabsorbed. Testicular hormone production and spermatogenesis remain unaffected. Vasectomy does not interfere with libido, erectile function, or testosterone levels. Ejaculate volume remains nearly the same, as sperm comprise less than 5% of total semen volume. Vasectomy reversal, or vasovasostomy, is performed under an operating microscope. The surgeon reconnects the inner lumen of the vas deferens using ultrafine sutures to restore sperm transport. Success depends on tissue integrity and duration since vasectomy. If sperm are absent in the vasal fluid due to secondary blockage, a more complex procedure called vasepididymostomy is required. This connects the vas deferens directly to the epididymal tubules. Sperm may return to the ejaculate within a few weeks to months after successful reversal. Follow-up includes semen analysis and monitoring for scarring or blockage recurrence. Reversal success rates vary up to 95% if performed within 10 years. Fertility may be affected by anti-sperm antibodies, obstruction, or epididymal damage in long-standing cases. Vasectomy is a reliable and permanent birth control method, but reversal offers a potential path to fertility restoration.